Hey everybody, welcome back to Battle Ready Inc. So today's video is going to be a battle between Shine Greymon, pretty much the favorite of the format currently, versus Red Ragnalordmon, who's kind of like a rising star right now. It's getting just more and more popular. We're seeing it top more and more events. So really putting these two, kind of the, the two icons, like head to head right now, just felt like a really good match to set up. Uh, I was actually going into it a little afraid because like, oh, Shine Greymon, they really like to thrive off of, you know, having it sitting around, you know, three security. And with Red Ragna, you can swing for five security so easily. So it could almost be a little scary uh, as the Shine Greymon player. But it took only two games, really two games, and I got two great recordings out of it. Uh, the first one here is the second game, and this is a really good, you get to see both decks really pop off and perform really well to pretty much their fullest. Uh, at the end though, I got a clip of the, uh, the very first game we played where this awesome tech card came in and it was just absolutely mind-blowing, uh, like how like crazy important that tech card came into this game. And I, I wanted to show it, just at least just the little short clip of that game. Uh, to go with this, but let's get into this. All right, so there on the left, of course, we got yellow representing the Shine Greymon, and the right is the Ragnar. Here we see the the Baby Demon, which is actually a really interesting tech uh, for Red Ragnar. I don't really see it a whole lot. But it's the plus 2,000 when you have piercing, which Red Ragna can get really easily with the uh, its ability um, with the inheritable. Then he plays the red tie, which no no rookie, which definitely hurts, but goes into the red tie. I think a memory fixing tamer, like first turn, is one of the nicest plays. I know it doesn't feel like a whole lot, but it's you I mean you're gonna benefit for the entire game because of it. Sure, giving your opponent four memory that first turn feels like a lot. But there's only so much they can really do that first turn. You know, they're going to be set up. They've only got the five cards in hand. It's not like later game where they've got a whole hand to, to play. So, uh, and, you know, nothing on field. So, giving them four memory first turn isn't too bad. Uh, here, yellow just goes basically up into the Angemon and then plays Akari. Akari's not going to really come into play here. But if you, that's the only tamer they got, they're just trying to make their cards live at this point. So, just starting to put tamers out slowly. Uh, sometimes that's all you can do, even if it's just Akari. Uh, then jumping back over to red, we see the uh, the Zudomon get Digivolved instead of uh, hard played, uh, and then goes on to a, a Greymon on top of that, just setting up that security attack bonus. And then we see a hard play Agumon, probably drew into the Agumon, I'm guessing, is what happened off that Digivolve there. Uh, so not like overly strong plays, but the in uh, the in raising area is definitely building up into some really good potential there. The second a Greymon hits the field, especially in Red Ragna, yeah, you know he's gonna be swinging for a lot when he comes out. Uh, Yellow just hard playing the Unimon doesn't want to give off those free those free hits into security for no reason. You know, getting your opponent down to four in Shine is pretty solid of a play. Uh, and then they're going to digivolve into the uh, the Cordramon themselves and then just going to hard play a rookie to, to pass turn at those two cost. Uh, putting their opponent at one, solid, solid play for sure. Uh, and then also doing the same there, getting a blocker out just so you don't give up free swings into security for no reason. Uh, we see the, the Patamon come down in the raising area. That it's not the on-play Patamon though. So uh, just the, I believe it's when one gets deleted right by getting their memory reduction you, or by their dp reduction you gain one memory uh here we see the rise Greymon dropping another car again not the best if you can drop a tk that's that's not so bad you do lose the on play effect but that four cost is pretty steep so getting you know a tk out there isn't too bad especially when you need that memory fixing asap uh, but kicking it back over to red, uh, we've got another Agumon coming down in the raising area on top of another Baby Demon, which tells us that they are going all in on the Baby Demons, probably, at least as the, the majority. Uh, and then here we see the level 6 come down, which means that probably next turn we're going to have to deal with a Ragna. 
So yellow is, uh, so they're going to raise up that Padawan there, go into another blocker. Uh, you, you only so much you can do with those blockers because of the, uh, the piercing there. So you can stop the rest of the stuff from killing you, but that's about it. And then we're going to see the Padamon come down. Looks like there's a TK there and another the thing off camera, I think, was another Padamon, the on-play Padamon. So i uh, going to lose out on another search. So they're, they're giving some decent board presence both sides. So we're probably going to see some action here uh, really, really soon. Uh, the Dark Tyranimon there kind of tells us that they're digging. And, uh, all right, and then there we see the... The Ragna come down, and there's the uh, the black, the Bril, Bril Dramon. Yeah, those names kill me every time. All right, so then we're going to swing in here. What's he got? Like, Blocker, Reboot, Piercing. He's got the Greymon, so he's got the Security Attack plus one. Uh, does trigger a TK, though, which is pretty amazing. And uh, that's going to go at least into the Raising area, or into the, uh, the Tamer area which the memory fixing is so crucial right now. The yellow really is going to need a lot of help now that Ragna's on field. We've already saw the really big hit from uh, from the Ragna there. Not a full uh, full clear, though, almost. Uh, but they do got they did make the, uh, the Kari's live, though. So they're going with the five memory now, though. They're, Red's in a pretty good position, at least, because there's only three Tamers in play. But a, a Shine Greymon here could be uh, pretty disastrous. Uh, here, we're going to see that TK come down. That four cost is so steep. Uh, we're going to see the TK activation this time around. And, yeah, there they go. They're checking the, uh, the security, debating if they're going to add it to hand or not. It's, uh, I don't know. Sometimes it's really tricky. If it's a tamer, do you add the tamer or do you leave the tamer in security to trigger to go to get played for free uh, that's one of the things that I've always you know had trouble debating because it's nice if you can get the bonus DP power uh, TKs but there's none in play currently so might as well if it's uh, you know there's no point in keeping a lot of stuff okay so they're adding the car to hand I mean I guess if you just desperately need more tamers which right now red has a big field, so it's going to take a, a whole hefty amount of tamers to clear something. Looks like they've got they can clear sixteen thousand roughly worth of stuff. So there we do see the rise come down. So that's why he played that another TK. Okay, so he's going to plop, pop the two there, which will slow down the opponent from winning. So the opponent can swing with the Ragna, clear the last security, and uh, and the two rookies won't be able to get past the two blockers. So kind of stalemate the uh, opponent out at least for one more turn see if they can get into anything else red just trying to draw there doesn't have a rookie doesn't look like they got a rookie at all going to be able to go into that raising area which is going to be pretty crucial because they could potentially very easily win next turn they just need to set themselves up uh, they're going to go for the blocker I guess just a draw I mean it doesn't hurt as long as that's the last thing you're swinging with you can still win even if you got to pay that two memory. And then, yeah, there's no point in not swinging with the Ragna here. Uh, they're going to clear that. Just an Angemon. Now, again, if that had been that Kari that they added to hand, that would have been really good because then they would have gone all the way up to six memory instead when the turn got passed. Uh, here they're going to swing in. Yeah, okay, they're just going to clear the blocker early so they don't have to deal with something else coming back at them. I mean, you either eat it this turn or you eat it next turn. So at least if you eat it this turn, it's on your own terms rather than dealing with them possibly somehow swinging for game. And uh, just passing. Ouch. And then the two Kari's are going to go ahead and bump it up to five. Woof. I feel like there's something they could have played at least for five memory. All right. So yellow's building up that big field now. Lots of memory to work with. Lots and lots of memory. Uh, gonna go ahead and swing in with that shine. He's at a beastly uh, what fifteen thousand right now. And they're gonna go ahead and block that. He also has a security attack bonus because of the rise Greymon. And here we see an Angel Woman drop. That recovery is gonna be huge because even with Ragna and all of its security attack bonuses doesn't do you any good. 
and there we see another shine Greymon come down and the tables have turned red was knocking on the door about to win the game and yellow literally turned it around that quickly with uh, just a couple turns of shine Greymon coming down just mowing that field down uh, but no blockers though I mean they could potentially here nope I'm gonna have to hard play the dark Tyrannomon ouch so uh, that's going to leave yellow just a free round of swinging into that security to start clearing some stuff out. What are they going to do? So they're just going to go ahead and start swinging before they play anything. Doesn't look like a, they have a rookie in hand for that raising area. Oof, Gaia Force. Going to go ahead and clear that second Shine Greymon. They got one more security check, though, with that first. Ouch, that hurts. Uh, looks like they did get a, a have a rookie in hand for that uh there we see that patamon come down uh did not choose to play it i guess they're comfortable with the four tamers they do have the the third kari in hand as well so they are sitting pretty good dang another guy of force it wouldn't be a red deck right if you didn't hit into like a guy of force every single turn but ouch that is a the sticky situation there they are gonna go ahead and yellow's gonna get that another blocker out that's their third blocker now oh but they're just gonna go right over it they're gonna rely on the uh the recovery here, which the recovery one is almost the same thing. So they're going to draw for the evolution and then uh, put the recovery over. Uh, and then we do see that Kari finally come down. Because again, the tie is on field, so you can't memory choke your opponent here. Uh, but yeah, relying on just that swing instead. Here they're going to go ahead and clear the field. Just so they don't have to deal with a whole lot of attacks coming in. And then bam, passing it back over. Oh, but it goes up to six now because we got finally got that third Kari out. Ugh, no rookies for red. Feels so bad. Uh, yellow definitely took back over, but hitting those Gaia forces just definitely evened up the field really, really quickly again. Just a couple Gaia forces in security can just change the game completely for sure. Oh my goodness. And we see a third shine come down. Clears bowl for the Dark Tyrannomons. Uh, gonna leave them wide open. Nothing in raising area. Yeah, red's going to be way too far behind at this point, more than likely. Uh, unless they've got more Gaia Forces sitting there. We'll see uh, what that last security is. Might as well swing with the Patamon. You know, you're, you're going to basically set yourself up next turn to win. It's good to know what you got to deal with. And there's no Gaia Force, thankfully. Uh, thankfully for, uh, for them. And then here we see the cards just go ahead and uh, drop there. Uh, just a handful. Full of, of more level sixes, got the Ragna, but Shine Greymon basically just kept them from ever getting high enough. They, you know, cleared the fours and the fives because what we they had the Groundermon, right? That was a level five. It was about to go off, but that Groundermon is only a six K, so uh, was relatively easy to clear off. But still, probably the best card they could have played, honestly, just for the memory. Uh, but yellow, I mean, yellow was close. I mean, they were sitting on zero there for a good minute and then got some recovery back in there. Very, very close game for sure. Literally, it came down to uh, that turn that Red needed to Digivolve into a rookie uh, and they never saw another rookie for the rest of the game. If they had seen a rookie when they, when they needed to that turn, uh, that next turn that Ragna swung in with, uh, and he had the two other Digimon sitting on field, the two others could have swung in, took the blocks, and then he could have swung with the uh, with the rookie and won. So it literally was just came down to didn't see a rookie. Now, granted, if Yellow had saw the rookie in the raising area, they might have reacted, you know, knowing ahead of time that hey, there's about to be four attacks coming in next turn instead of only the three. You know, they could have uh, gone into like an Angel Woman or something like that, and you know, recovered again to prevent it. Multiple different things could have happened for sure. Um, but this is the way it played out this time. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the next game after this and uh, and see this craziness. All right. So a uh, couple rounds in here. Yellow's uh, got uh, not the best field going into the Angelomon in the raising area. Probably signals that there's a Shine Greymon in hand waiting to drop next turn. Uh, they're just probably trying to build up a better... Uh, pull of tamers so if they can get some out of security checks that'll be amazing so red here goes into the the ragna and then they're going to put the other one the looks like the piercing one underneath uh mind you that's blitz Greymon, so they don't have the 
full package of the red and black on this swing, but still very powerful nonetheless. They do have the the level five that gives security attack plus, and looks like uh, maybe an Agumon down there. So it's it's a it's a beefy Ragna for sure, and they got that piercing there. So the piercing is going to run over the Patamon. And you're still going to get all your security checks, which is really, really powerful. But this is, that's the card I was talking about. This little tech right here, I'll back it up. Uh, what is that? Um, what is it? A delicate plan. What this does is makes it so that way for one memory, just a simple one memory, you don't trigger any security effects in uh, during security checks. Okay, for one Digimon, not your whole team, but you pick one and they don't trigger any security effects. Now, mind you, this isn't like um, 1.0 War Greymon where you don't trigger options. No, 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 no. You don't trigger, the card reads, you don't trigger security effects at all. Doesn't matter, Tamers, Digimon, options, any of it. And that is horrible for Yellow horrible because they they like to fill their security with all these tamers so they can play all these tamers for free right so he's going to go ahead and clear that with his piercing and then he's going to get all of his checks where that looks like three checks there if i'm not mistaken so three security checks here coming in we got the unimon there's a uh, no security effects so tk is going to go away they just reading the card again just to verify if it's options or if it's anything and the, it says that security effects do not trigger. And then Akari also, that would have been two tamers. That's 8,000 on that Shine Greymon that's trying to drop. So that would have been 16,000. That would have been more than enough to clear the Ragna the next turn with the uh, the Shine Greymon. It just absolutely brutal. And then go ahead and swing with that Dark Tyranimon here into security, clear that so you don't have to worry about anything. And then there you go, completely cleared it out. Nothing to worry about. Uh, pass it over to your opponent. Okay, give them two memory. That's not enough unless they have a TK specifically to, and even then, that's still not enough to actually kill the uh, the Ragna because the Ragna's sitting at what fourteen thousand. So even playing another Tamer here is is not enough. And then there you go. See the card come down. Uh, there's a shine up top. Uh, we got some recovery. Got the rise. The rise would allow a free Tamer. Uh, just absolutely brutal. That. Uh, if it just had played out a little bit different if he had just let the uh, the tamers go into play then that shine would have come down this turn and blew up the Ragna and just because that would in the, the fourth or got yeah, the needed 16,000 uh, just absolutely gnarly tech option that they put in the red deck and you know with currently with what's in the meta right now we got shine in the meta who's super super popular uh, Rookie Rush, Rookie Rush is, you know, they've got stuff like Flower Cannon and the Positron Cannon as well as Hammer Spark, you know, they've got all these really nice tech options and, you know, Rookie Rush is everywhere right now, so seeing that uh, be able to work against so many different opponents, so it's not like the deck was built to go against Shine Greymon specifically, no, no, the deck is just built to go against whatever's in the meta, whatever's popular in the meta, so being able to just not trigger security effects not just like i said not just any not just options but any security effects oh my god that was so so crazy to actually see pop off like that because at first i saw that card and i was like oh okay whatever you know not that big a deal no, no no like actually thinking about it and thinking it through super super cool tech option so uh i cannot wait to see this deck perform again it's just it's very powerful. I see why these two decks are both like the top tier, you know, the, the techs that everyone wants to play right now because they are very powerful decks for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment uh, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy this type of content, I try to put it out as much as possible. So definitely subscribe. Also, if you really enjoyed the content, check out my uh, Patreon. I have a link in the description below for it. You can get access to my Discord server, as well as your, if you're a Dragon Village M fan, account takeovers where I help you out with your account. If you're a Digimon fan, I've got monthly giveaway. Well, not even giveaway. I've got monthly merch that's specific to Patreon. Stuff like memory counters custom made this is the uh, the baby form of vmon here there's gonna be more in the works also so lots of memory counters all kinds of awesome digimon merch so definitely check out that tier and if you're just 
all out crazy, there's other tiers if you're that dedicated. Uh, as well as check out my Teespring. I've got awesome merch there, you know, official Battle Ready Ink merch, awesome phone cases for you Digimon fans out there. Uh, they've got them for iPhones as well as uh, Samsungs. So they are super sweet. If you've seen the, the last Digimon movie, that's where these are from. I had a friend of mine custom make these so that way they fit perfectly on these phone cases. They look super good. So definitely check those out. But at the end of the day, if you can't do any of that, just like I said, like the video. That helps a ton. And subscribe. It doesn't hurt, but it helps me. So that's what's the, the real benefit. And as always, I'll see you next time.